you children, it's me Ghost Girl and I'm here with you guys for another video. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about a mate of mine and a, a haunted house that he lived in. Um, so when I was at school I had this mate and uh, we used to hang out all the time after school and on the weekends and uh, I remember spending like some went us in his house and uh, some really spooky things happening so um, when we were like teenagers um, he used to stay with his parents in this house and it was really haunted and really spooky um, the house um, was owned by before they moved in was owned by a man by the name of Mr Morris in the 60s and before it belonged to him um, it belonged to a man named Mr Morrison and I know that sounds a bit funny when you say it together Mr Morrison, Mr Morrison um, but they were two old men that had lived in the house previously and had died in the house um, and the two spirits were very active and were always up to no good as uh, what I'd describe it and they really didn't like um, mummy uh, being there they were always like targeting him um, some a lot of things used to happen. Um, I've never personally dabbled in Ouija boards or anything like that, but my mate and uh, the rest of the people in this group were like obsessed with Ouija boards, and uh, they used to play them. But I used to go into the other room and then. I'd like have conversations with like his wee brother and talk to his wee brother or his older brother um, while they were um, they were playing Ouija board. Um, his big brother never played Ouija boards. He just thought it was childish. And the wee brother, um, he was very um, superstitious. He knew about the dangers of Ouija boards and stuff and it scared him I thought well if you're not educated on that stuff which I think is important like I've done like a few videos like over the years talking about the dangers of Ouija boards and why we shouldn't use them um, because what people don't know about Ouija boards is that um, when you use a Ouija board you're basically opening the portal, a portal to uh, another world and any spirit or creature can get through and uh, mess with you and communicate with you through the board and even though you're closing the board you're not actually closing the portal like the portal still there and that creature that you were talking to is like still there. All you've done when you've ended the session of a Ouija board is you've cut off the communication. So say I was sitting in here with like a paper cup and a bit of string and uh, my flatmate was at the other end. Like I put the cup down right but I'm not talking to her, but she's still standing behind the door. She's still there. Like, that's the thing with Ouija boards is the creature, even though you've severed the communication, all you've done is hang up the phone. That creature's still there, and you've allowed it into your house so it can do whatever it likes. Like, it can stay there and haunt you, and, eh... Uh, the only way to get rid of it is if you were to get like a medium or like a warlock or a witch or a mage or a magician to like close the 
portal and banish it. And even if the mediums like banish it, there's still like this portal that you need to deal with. Um, and that's why you need a warlock or a mage or someone with the ability to like shut the portal and stop any more spirits from coming through. So um, I, I, it's just really dangerous and I wouldn't advise anyone uh, to use Ouija boards. I remember I was posting a few videos talking about the dangers of Ouija boards and then some idiot commented Oh, Ouija boards are cool. I love using Ouija boards. Me and my mates used to use it all the time and I just read this comment and I swear after reading it I was like this. Like, I was like seriously, I just made a video expressing how dangerous they are and then you're going on about how cool they are. I thought to myself, this person's total brain dead <laughs> or they just weren't listening to me properly and then some people just, you can't, just can't be helped. And I know there's people that are listening to me and have probably took my advice against we do boards, but there's just some people that are beyond help. I mean, let's be honest. So, this is part, this story that I'm telling is part of the reason why I'm so anti we do board and I wouldn't recommend uh, using them. Um, so that's what I feel like made the haunting so severe because I think some, I don't really know exactly how Ouija boards work because I've never used them, I've read up about them, but I feel like the board kind of gave the spirits of the house like more power to like haunt my mate. I think because if you're opening portals and communicating with spirits, you're really giving them more power um, to do what they want to do because you're inviting that, when you're using a Ouija board, you're inviting that spirit in to your space, which isn't good. And also if a portal is open, eh, the spirits are, become more powerful, there's something about the energy from a portal that like empowers the spirit. I'm not really sure how it works. It's been a while since I've like read up on that these things. I'll need to read it up again, but it's just very dangerous. Um but I remember they used to do these weird weird settings and then we'd hear like crashings and bangings and stuff and we'd me and the two brothers that were up the stairs would hear noises and we'd be like, what is that? And then we'd hear screaming and then we'd go down, the three of us would go downstairs and stuff had been moved. I remember one time me and the brothers were uh, sitting watching the TV and my mate and his two friends had the Ouija board out and uh, suddenly something went crashing off the kitchen cupboard onto the floor and uh, it got to the point where the two brothers were like telling them stop playing that Ouija board, you better not be getting that Ouija board out and just... I just remember um, a lot of stuff used to go on I remember um, we had a mutual friend and he was staying at the guy's house and he remembers waking up to feeling like someone was watching him and they seen like this figure of a man with a hood and then the man reached out and pointed his finger at my friend and I thought I'm glad that never happened to me because I would just get the heebie bejeebies like especially as like a 14 year old girl I was so squeamish back then it was unreal like freaking out over the slightest little things Um, I also remember 
things, just be sitting in the tele, watching the TV with the brothers and my mate and then <laughs> something would just randomly move. And, and I would just look at that and be like that. Did you guys see that or am I imagining things or did that ornament just move? <laughs> And they were like, yeah, it did move, it's just we're so used to it by now that, um, that, uh, it doesn't even face us anymore. I'm like that, Jesus. And, uh, I remember being on Skype to my friend, like, because Skype was like a kind of really big popular thing when, uh, I was that is I don't know if people still even use Skype now, but um, I remember being on Skype to my mate and then uh, just speaking to him and then like all of a sudden this like, I want to call it a fish slice and I know in America they call it a spatula but in Britain we call it a fish slice came flying towards him and smacked him on the face and then all of a sudden and then he went and then all of a sudden these I'm not making this up by the way it was like these thoughts came flying it was like a scene at a port of guys I remember just watching this and thinking like what are you doing is this like a plank or something like actual stuff but this is not even funny I'm just like just, I was like super confused I didn't really know what was going on I actually thought it was my mate playing a prank and his brothers were like in the background like throwing like forks and stuff from like an angle that I couldn't see but um apparently not <laughs> um because he ran away and the next thing you know this shadow like ran past the camera and I'm like what the actual hell is going on? Like, because I was a medium, at, like, even back then, I was still, like, gaining my abilities and I was trying to understand this gift that I had and working on it more. So, like, I did see, like, the men in that house and one of them, like, whizzed by the camera and I was just like, this is mad happened in that house. I remember we used to hear like laughing and stuff when we'd be in his room, just in his room chatting and then they'd be like creepily laughing. And then I remember one time, some of the stuff that happened in the house was funny. And uh, I remember talking about that video on Skype because it was quite funny. And then I remember saying, you know, if these spirits are quite freaky, but some of the stuff that they do is quite funny. And, like, they've clearly got, like, a wicked sense of humour and this is their way of, like, pranking you or whatever. And then I literally heard the words, thank you, being whispered in my ear. Why she just give me the creeps? But I remember being on, on like, Skype once and my mate, um was on walking sticks at the time and literally it was like something like had shoved him off the east chair and the next thing you know you just see him like struggling with the wall and this is quite sick to laugh at but it was like something of a comedy you just seen like the outline of something and then like just to him like hitting it and struggling with his walking sticks. It was just crazy. Um, I never had anything like done or thingy to me like in that house other than like what I've seen on the Skype videos. But still it was mad, mad times. That house was like seriously haunted like wow and uh, I don't that Ouija board him using that Ouija board really didn't help like at all if anything it made things worse so please to all my viewers that are watching stay away from Ouija boards 
So that was the video of me talking about my friend's haunted house. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video today. If you did, then please like this video, comment down below, subscribe, click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when my next videos come out. And also don't forget to share this video and don't forget to follow me on my socials. I'm on Twitter and I'm on Patreon and if you could follow me on Twitter and become a Patreon of mine, I'd be very grateful for that. I hope you have enjoyed this video today and goodbye.